what up? Big Kirk 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know, we do it over here. Go to bigkirk916.com, pick up some merch, grab your bar of soap, wash your ass. Don't walk around stinking. Don't nobody want to smell your funky butt. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, share the channel. We are dealing with the fall of society right now. And everybody's looking at society as the problem, which is a reflection of what's going on in the home. The uh, lack of parenting. And yeah, there are some households with two parents that still have uh, troublesome children, but for the most part, when you do have a structured household with good parenting, family values, um, the kids have a greater percentage of turning out to be better people overall in life. <coughs> this, uh, this, this situation right here was very disturbing. And um, I, I feel that <laughs> the young people who are entertaining this behavior and the parents of these young people, we almost need to bring back or implement. I don't know. I don't think, think they ever had it. They used to have spanking in the school, but you need to you need to implement public whoopings. You're under 18, you think you're getting a pass, you bring your parents there or the family of the victims and you get a public whooping. Teen who filmed killing of retired police chief arrested faces murder charge, complete lack of conscience. Now, I seen in uh, some of the comments and some other posts on Instagram, somebody said, well, that's just another, uh, you know, another, racist cop gone or blah 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 they didn't even know this person they didn't know he was the chief of police they didn't have they had no idea so this could have been your father it could have been your brother it could have been your cousin could have been your uncle um for somebody to sit there and say another another uh you know racist cop that's not able to hurt somebody gone i mean that's a really shallow racist statement coming from the person who said it because it could have been black white and mexican asian anybody's relative these kids were were, were pieces of the shit teen car passenger who filmed himself encouraging his friend to mow down a retired police officer riding his bike through las vegas was arrested tuesday officials announced the unidentified minor and a teen driver who was already in custody are both facing murder charges and a disturbing hit and run death of 64 year old Andres Probst last month. Las Vegas officials said at a press conference, it's a complete lack of conscience on a part of it. And the worst part about it in the video is you hear that everything was intentional. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department Detective Lieutenant Jason Johannesson said, yeah, th yeah, these little assholes thought it was entertaining. You know, they thought they were in a goddamn uh, a video game and running over people was a part of getting points or something. It, it, there's no, there's no excuse for this behavior, man. I'm, I'm not, I, I, I'm not uh, saying that you know kids don't make mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes, but this shit right here, you have to know in the back of your mind, it's not right to run over a person on a bike in a car. Police say the passenger filmed the gut wrenching video showing that probes was deliberately struck and left for dead while he was on his morning bike ride around 6 a.m. August 14th. The driver can be heard asking his giggling friend, ready, as he speeds up directly behind the retired cop. Yeah, hit his ass, the passenger tells the driver before the car plows into the retiree. Probes were thrown onto the windshield, sending shards of glass through the car and over the car before crashing onto the side of the road. Damn, that end got knocked out, the pastor says, as the driver can be heard stepping on the gas. The killing was the most severe in a string of crimes the pair allegedly carried out that morning, authorities said. 
The couple allegedly struck a 72-year-old man around 5.30 that morning, leaving him with non-life-threatening injuries. See what I'm saying? These two were demons. And you know what you do with a demon? You burn them at the stake, man. It, it's, it's, it, it sounds uh, uh, ruthless, but when you're dealing with this type of evil, you have to combat it and, and do an exorcist. And the only thing that exorcists a demon out of uh, uh, a soul like this is a public display of a whooping. They're also accused of intentionally ramming into a second car traveling nearby before setting their sights on Probst. Police said the teen stole at least four cars to carry out the violent spree. The 17-year-old who plowed into Probst was arrested the same day as Probst's death on suspicion of hit and run. Authorities announced the upgraded murder charge after the video of the incident surfaced. Prosecutors said the teens will be tried as adults. It took police five weeks to track down a pastor who was wearing a mask in a surveillance footage obtained by investigators. He was ultimately caught in part due to the damning video to which police were alerted by a school resource officer who had been given the footage by a student. Disturbing footage of the incident was captured on video and surfaced on social media. The footage showed Probst on the ground after he was struck by the car. When I saw the video, it touched me su such a way such a way that other bicyclists can appreciate, he said. Pro's family said Tuesday that they believe the senseless killing was caused by the effect social media has on our youth, not because of his 35 years in law enforcement. The former cop had moved to Sin City after he retired as chief of police in Bell, California in 2009. And his life was robbed by two individuals who did not believe that lives of others matter. His daughter Taylor said calling her father a man of honor and integrity. He was a little league dad, an honorary member of Girl Scouts. He was also there for various activities we'd get into as a family. His colleagues remember him as a real life PB Herman. He was a jokester, a prankster, and always had a way to make you laugh. Man, you know, I ride my bike in the mornings and kind of clear my mind. And so when I heard this story, I had to speak on it. And I think about these young people, man, and I try to reach out to them and they think it's a joke. They laugh, you know, I've, I've come across youngsters and they try to size me up or they say smart shit or, you know, think they're indestructible. And because of just what's going on in social media, they think that, oh man, I'm not gonna do no time. I'll get a pass, I'll be out tomorrow. I'm gonna go in there and hang out. I'm an OG now, I'm a gangster. Well, it's time to get some OG ass whoopings uh, dealt out to these young punks. And um, parents, all that talking and shit, it ain't, it ain't working. Whatever you're doing at home, it's not working, man. It, we, we gotta put Bigfoot little ass. And um, it's just sad, man. And, and, and to those who may say something because he's a retired cop, it ain't got nothing to do with that because they didn't know. They were just hitting people. They had already hit another old man. Oh, I mean, older people, man, that shows you the res lack of respect. I, regardless of the color of skin, I always respected my elders, man. I was taught that you respect old people. You open the door for them. You say, excuse me. You say, hi. You say, bye. You say, no, sir. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. There are certain things you're taught. These little bastards ain't taught shit. They have no respect. And it's just getting worse and worse. And you can say it's a sign of the times. I say it's a lot to do with the home base. Because, yeah, social media plays a factor, but it's time to, to step up your parenting game and you got to really lock this shit down because these kids, man, they're not they're not getting any better. They're getting worse in the sense that the parents who are allowing social media to groom these kids to uh, uh, teach these kids to whatever they're doing with these kids is definitely having an impact and the, the greatest impact the greatest factor should be the parents at home and that little thought of consciousness before you do something stupid is what would my mom say what would my dad say i used to have that when i was doing shit and i knew better and i still acted up and in retrospect now i'm trying to tell you that i've made bad choices and so 
when I do these videos, I'm not doing it to try to be some self-righteous, oh, I'm a perfect person. No, I'm trying to tell you, man, look, you're going to end up in some places. I made it out of there, but you might not make it out. You might get your head busted. You might get shanked. You might get put in a situation. You might go in there with, a, with 60 days and come out with life. You might get raped. There's a lot of things that can happen. It ain't no joke. The streets ain't no joke. And, this, you know, a lot of these people, man, you thinking, oh, man, that they don't have friends and family that care about them, they'll peel your cap. You, you guys, man, I, I mean, you can, you can talk shit if you want. And I know a lot of my shit gets, uh, gets censored and uh, it, it, it doesn't get uh, shared as much as it should. But I'm trying to tell you, man, I've been there, man, and it ain't nothing to brag about. And it's some really dumb shit. And you're going to ruin your life. And a lot of you guys think it's cute running around doing dumb shit like this. Think you got a mask on. You get away, man. You, you ain't going to learn until people start busting your head. And when they start busting your head and your parents say, oh, he wasn't a bad kid. Nah, your kid was a piece of shit. Big Herc 916. Officially, I only got one real spanking my entire life. My mom did the best a 14-year-old could do raising me with love and instilling values that will last a lifetime. I was a straight A student and lived to make her happy. So how did I go astray? A horrible stepdad that stole my self-worth and invoked fear turned me into a person that I struggled to overcome. From skateboarding to selling drugs, gang banging in the juvenile hall, I got caught the same way many young promising men get caught up. I struggled to find my identity getting mixed up in shootouts, crime, and the adult entertainment industry. This roller coaster continued as I juggled college, hustling, and Hollywood, eventually catching a federal bank robbery case. I found redemption in prison while serving a 120-month federal sentence and came out a man on a mission. I became a social media influencer with over half a billion views on YouTube and a life coach mentoring people all over the world. This is my journey against all odds. Go to BigHerc916.com and purchase you a bar of soap, one of the books I've written, a hat, a beanie, a t-shirt, tank top, or some detail spray for your car. Hello, my name is Big Kirk 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today Wash Your Ass Soap and this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, Jamaican Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself so if you can go to bigkirk916.com you can pick you up a bar and my goal is to help america combat funk stop walking around with a crusty butt smelly ball sack and a funky hoo-ha big herc said wash that ass pick you up a t-shirt at freshhouseseries.com